only. Parking is available in the terminal garages at no additional cost. Here we go, guys. Tons of bags, man. All right, guys. Carrying this stuff. Need a gas. San Diego to El Tema on the project we're doing with Intel and Oris. So it's not that's going to be dope stuff. So. Where are we at, Tim? Uh, we're in La Jolla right now. San Diego. Oh, man, people will fall down, dude. <laughs> Check this out, man. You fall out. Oh, man. Hey, look what PC modding gets to you, man. You get to see some awesome, amazing beaches. day guys so I'm actually filming here with Tim for a Intel event that we're doing at Pack East so me and Tim actually partnered together to do a crazy collab build uh, so pretty much today that's what we're actually doing is putting some stuff together and showing more of the process on what we did on the build but let me show you how simple guy I am I gotta go everything black guys everything black black bag to hold my mics black headphones and of course my favorite this tom ford cologne such a simple guy but complicated as well at the same time uh yeah i just like to pack and go don't have to worry about if stuff matches or it is what it is so that's why i do everything black it is let's get this day started guys How's that? Yeah, it should be. It should be okay. All right, let's get there. I'm, I'm gonna hold it like that, dude, so I'll flip out. <laughs> Screw short. Yeah, it's so short. Sure. Uh, am I doing this wrong? I always forget. <laughs> yeah, but you see that, that's what I'm saying, you see that gap? Oh, you know what? So I that's think, what I'm saying, it's, it's a I think up. it. I think it, um... Maybe, it, maybe it, try screwing the screws in here and have it pull the plate down. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that? but I, I think it's, uh... Take this out. You know how we prep the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. Take this off. Now prep the top. Screw these in. Screw no, the this. top is the top is easy. Just prep it all. Because it, it's you're right there, it's just not letting you go in. Spray that you use, that's epoxy, and it's a spray though. You buy it at IMS, and what it does is it hardens like this. Oh, so yeah, like, I think it's like plastic dipped in, right? No, 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 it's not plastic. It's epoxy. So, so those, those are feet for the bottom of the case. Right? Yeah, feet for the bottom of the case. So this is pretty much what the whole model will kind of sit on. Scary shitty paint. Because if you hit, unless you want to do this side, or you want to cover it up too, but it'll, be, it'll put the force directly on this instead of on these. Yeah. Make it all do this. Yeah. And then you shouldn't have to hit it so hard so the, because the force is like going everywhere instead of just focused. Oh, it slides better because of the, the lube. The lube! Hold on. No, we gotta go farther. Oh, you're hitting the... Oh, this it's just catching the yeah. edge. You sure? Yeah. No, no, it's hitting, bro. Huh? It's hitting for sure. I know, it has to go all the way through. Yeah, so let's go here. Transfer over to this edge here. Yeah, 
uh, uh, Miguel? Yeah. I sent him home yesterday. Oh, okay. So, and then um, from there across is going to be um, uh, put the Pinasco. And that's at the, that's like the Gulf. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the, where the water's at. Custom. Yeah. Modded. It, yeah, <laughs> modded custom shirt. Yeah. Very exclusive, you have no idea. That's better, you can see that here. Should fit. Yeah. We tested it, remember? Yeah. Yeah. So I think it was just from, from then polishing it. It got bent a little bit. Okay. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah. No, it just got tighter, you know. Yeah. But the angles are still gonna be the same. Yeah. 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 Radiator, 360. Yeah, 360 millimeter radiator here. Um, we'll probably do the fans on the inside. So we're just kind of seeing the radiator sit here and not kind of being distracted by like moving fans or colored fans or anything like that. So the fans on the inside, radiator B, probably EK PE, which is I believe 40 millimeter thick, will sit here. So it should be like that, yeah. There you go. Okay. And then now the radar, the radar will sit inside like this. Yeah. Oh, it'll sit, it, like yeah, that. it should also sit, it'll sit like this. And then the fans will be on the inside. Yeah. Quarter of inch higher. Yeah. So it's going to be where we see the big hole. Right above it's going to be the motherboard holder, remember? Yeah. So, because it's fucking weird standoffs we got. Yeah, because these. Yeah, big hole up. This yeah. is going to so be. So these are the, the, the mounting holes for the, for the PSU. PSU. Yep, exactly. Right, and then these are the mounting holes. These are the mounting holes for the PSU here. Because so I. How far up can we go on the dish rack? Because so like we couldn't get, we can't. Covering the pastures. We can't go any higher than this hole. This was gonna be on which side? PSU side? Yeah, now it's gonna cover the whole bottom. Hopefully. Yeah, this, this is the back side, right? How is that? Where do you think it's gonna be supposed to be? Uh, that's that PSU hole. That's PSU, I think. It should be. Like right there. So yeah, as long as there's, it doesn't cover the pastries that hold the fittings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The bucket thing. Yeah. Because then you can actually go right up close to it, right? Yeah, it's good. We just line it up. So yeah. see. see, so we might. You might hit one. You might want to hit one of these holes. There's so many holes over here. Tap it. Punch it. Uh, center punching. Center punch. This is an automatic center punch. Or, what's that for? Usually aviation, but what we're going to do is use it to start off our drill bit, and that will keep us from walking so we don't scratch or stray and everything stays nice and precise. I'm going to mess up your daughter's blanket. She's like, I want that blanket. My daughter's already demanding. She's like, pick me up, up and down, pick me up, up and down. I'm like, whatever you say, baby. Here's my wallet. That's... Let's just shit out of here. Sure. I'll buy, buy a new one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so check that hole. 
then take the other two dots. What it is, it's a burr, so as the metal goes through, it actually heats up and actually melts a little bit. So what you wanna do is clear the backside for one, for safety, because it will really cut into your hands, and for two, um, it's gonna, you don't want it to mess with whatever's going through there. So you take away that extra piece of metal and then that's what cleans it up. Also, the quality is better when you do that. Perfect, it should be all right. These were okay? Yeah, these were okay. All right. So during this project, actually, we came together and we kind of show uh, just different aspects of our style. Um, so I actually created a distro plate to go uh, actually behind the case. Great. These are M3 standoffs with M3 square, M3 screws, so it just ties in together. <sighs> Alright guys, this is actually day two. So day two, what we're going to do is actually go take the case back to the shop and finish the front side of it because last night I actually finished the back side of it so I did some of the two runs on the back side of it before we take it into the shop and finalize the actual build. We'll see how it goes. You know day one actually we got pretty much a lot done as far as putting the plate in and making sure everything lines up as far as the screws, the screw holes, but there's an actual challenge that's gonna happen. We don't have enough fittings to actually do that for at least for this video here. We're actually going to use instead of the brass fittings by EK, we're going to use their nickel plated fittings uh, because due to there's a short, I don't have any more fittings, uh, so we need to get with EK. Hopefully they can send some more time. 
Uh, so on the front side of it, I'm actually gonna finish it with nickel plated fittings. Actually, this is the last day before I fly out tomorrow morning. So hopefully everything goes smooth as planned. And from there, off to pack east. But let's get into day two, guys. Let's go. Where a tab or something can go here and keep this restricted somehow. If we can restrict this arm somehow, then you should be fine. I mean, because we can. Cause, okay, that's resting on top of the, the heat. Yeah. So, how thick is the motherboard? What, like 10? Oh, there you go. Perfect. Good idea. Perfect right there. Okay, so you're about a 16th down. So, this vertice is going to be flush with the top of this. Yeah. Okay. So, so, in order to do it, like you'd have to almost like. Put it flat, put this flat, and then you can rest it on top of here. Well then dude, cut cut here, cut this off here, and then this will like be like this, you get what I'm saying? And you can screw it into there because... No, it won't be like that because... Oh, because see, this is... You can see the hole is here. The oh, hole is I actually see. right here. The hole is actually right here. Would you, okay. And you so you'd been... almost have to like, see how this is flat right here? Mm -hmm. You'd almost have to make a, uh, uh, an extension off of here, and then you could just drill it straight in. And then what about height wise? How far is it up high? Can we bend this this way? What? Bend this this way, right? Mm -hmm. So then this is going in an angle this way, and then there's a lot of space here. You can use your long screwdriver and screw it in this way from this side. Oh, that way? Yeah. Potentially, yeah. I'll make you a sandwich, what kind do you want? A veggie? Snag 
So he's going like kind of angles and gives it more of a smooth edge. Because when you cut it with a blade, it kind of squeezes in with the tube, so it kind of needs kind of like very sharp edges. Now using this, it actually just ends it down. So when you're creating tubes like this, like people forget how, see how it's now too long? Because it wasn't bended as too far. So in order for me to make it work, that's why I had to use rotators, two rotators, to give me a precise angle that I need. Yeah, exactly. You see now, you see how I added the 45, so allow me to shift the angle so it actually fits perfectly. That's why I had to use two fittings in order to kind of work with this uh, 